I just can't help myself in not making videos when we have media outlets as well as actors continuing to call out Marvel for their crap, especially when it comes to quality. We've seen it with She-Hulk, Thor, Love, and Thunder, and what do they have in common? Quality is going down the drain because of their VFX artists not having enough time to work and are being overworked and underpaid. We're also seeing fans starting to find cracks in visual effects and lighting for the new Ant-Man, and let's not forget about MODOK, just some dude with a stretched face that looks awful from what we've seen of him in the trailers. And if you haven't yet subscribed yet, please do so. I'd much appreciate it. And now, let's get to the juiciness of this article. So now we are having an original Blade actor, Stefan Dorf, calling out Marvel movies' worthless garbage, and is also mocking the new Blade film with him saying that they've already done it and made it the best. Now we know that the new Blade is going through development hell, having needed many different reshoots as well as a complete overwork in the scripts, which lead many to believe that the film is going to be trash because of it. And let's also not forget that the original director for the new Blade film left the movie two months prior to when shooting began, just showing you the absolute terrible state of the film. And the article continues, Stefan Dorf is no stranger to railing against Marvel. The actor went viral in 2021 after telling the Independent that Black Widow looks like garbage and that he was embarrassed for its leading star, Scarlett Johansson. Now when it comes to Black Widow, it only made close to $400 million as we saw Disney release the film on their streaming platform much more earlier than expected. But even with that, many weren't interested in seeing the film. We saw Black Widow die in Endgame, and they are making a movie about her a few years later. No one's going to care about the film because she already died, and that's why I think Disney realized that it wasn't going to do exceptionally well at the box office, but actually come below estimates, which led them to release it on their streaming platform in order to rec recoup and make as much profit as they could. Continues on. The actor who flexed his comic book movies chops opposite Wesley Snipes in 1998's Blade said he'd only want to star in contemporary comic book films if they were more like when I started when we made Blade or the few that have been decent over the years like when Nolan did The Dark Knight and reinvented Batman from Tim Burton. Now, many of these superhero movies that are being released in today's world require a lot of CGI and green screen. You're not going to be able to have practical effects as often as Stefan Dorf here wants it. Because without the mass CGI that's being used, we wouldn't be able to get the comic books come to life on the big screens. Now maybe the original Blade didn't use that much CGI and they were sticking to practical effects. But as time progresses, things change. And you're not going to be able to just have practical effects. Stefan Dorf continues on. All this other garbage is just embarrassing. You know what I mean? Dorf continued. I mean, God bless them. They were making a bunch of money, but their movies suck. And nobody's going to remember them. Nobody's remembering Black Adam at the end of the day. I didn't even see that movie. It looked so bad. And I agree with him. We're only seeing Marvel films that are being remembered because of how good they were. We saw with Infinity War, Endgame, the original Avengers, original Captain America, and the Iron Man movies. What about today's stuff? What about Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk? The only thing She-Hulk is remembered for is the terrible CGI. No one is remembering anything. I didn't even remember that Black Widow came out a year ago. Until I read this article. Just showing you that Marvel is putting quantity over quality. And it is affecting them. Continues on. Marvel is currently developing a new blade for its Marvel Cinematic Uni uh, Universe. But not all has gone according to plan. As we've said, this film is in develop uh, development hell. And Dorf here says, Marvel is used to me trashing them anyway. How is that PG Blade movie going for you that can't get a director? Because anybody who goes there is going to be laughed at by everyone because we already did it and made it the best. There's no Steve Norrington out there. Now this, I'm just baffled that Marvel is having this film being rated at PG-13. Just showing you that they're trying to get as much audience members in the film without having no restrictions. What made the original Blade trilogy so successful was the gore and blood and it being rated R. For the hell, of, for God's sake, if you read the Blade comic books, they are gory. I don't understand why they're doing this. And it is con it is continuing to bite Marvel in the ass because many are seen through the bullshit that they're doing and the quality that is continuing to go down the drain. Anyways, I think you guys thought this. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.